Hello everyone and welcome to today's vlog. I'm going to be showing you how to make a wipes container cozy. This is my own personal pattern and I will link that down below so that you have a written part of it. And also you start with a magic circle. So if you haven't learned how to do the magic circle, I do have a video available and I will link that video as well so that you have it very easy once you get the hang of it. So as soon as you get your magic circle, you crochet 12 double crochets into this magic ring and then this is how you close your your circle. Go to the last, or excuse me, the first double crochet that you made. Stick your hook right through those first two um, stitches, pull through and then pull through your yarn and that secures your circle. So for round two, you double crochet in every stitch. So make your double crochet, or excuse me, chain two, go into your first stitch, double crochet, go into your stitch again, double crochet. So don't count, count your first chain two, count your first double crochet and your second cr double crochet right there. And then go ahead and go through and do the same on every stitch, two double crochets in every stitch. Once you get this completed, I will meet you at the end. So once you've completed your second round, you'll end up with 24 stitches. So you slip stitch to join this round. Again, go to the first double crochet, stick your hook through those first top two stitches, grab your yarn, pull through. So that you're, you're slip stitching that round closed. Okay, so round three is you're gonna double crochet in your first stitch, then single crochet in the next. Double crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next. So that's the pattern of round three. I'll kind of show you a few stitches. So you wanna chain two, go in the first stitch, double crochet twice, because you're not counting that first chain two. Then you want a single crochet in the next stitch. And then you want to double again in the third. And then you want a single crochet in the fourth. So that's the pattern of round three. I will meet you at the end and we'll join it together. So there's round three. I have 36 stitches now, because you started with 12, 24, 36. So from here you wanna, again, um, close your round, go to the first double crochet, or excuse me. So we're here to close the round. We're going to grab the first chain two that you made Go through the first top two stitches, pull through, pull through. That's your slip stitch. So now you're ready for round four. So on this is just a half double crochet all the way around. So you want to chain one. So yarn over, go through your stitch, pull through, go through all three. That's a half double crochet. So yarn over, go through your stitch, pull through, yarn over, go through all three. So we're gonna do that all the way around till you get your fourth round done. We'll meet you at the end. So I'm back with round four finished. As you can probably start to notice from here, it's starting to kind of make a little bit of a bowl. Um, 
which is exactly what you want because after this we're going to start building the sides so let me go ahead and join my or excuse me yeah join my round so again go to that first stitch go to the first two stitches and you want to slip stitch to join so there you go there's your fourth one two three four so to start building your sides you're going to just double crochet so you basically want to chain two this is a really easy uh, pattern so chain two double crochet into your first stitch double crochet in your second double crochet in your third and just keep going double crochet all the way around and I will meet you at the end here's the end of my fifth round this is just double crochet all the way around and see how it's really making a little bit of a well now now your sides are going to go really long and really tall you go 14 rows so after this one I have 13 more rows just double crochet your little hearts out and uh, at the end I'll kind of show you where we're at and uh, let you know the next step I am going to be changing colors through this one this is actually an order for someone so I'm going to be changing colors so I will pop on and show you how I change my colors so quick I wanted to show you how I change colors I did my rows um, up to about eight and then you take the end of your next yarn that you want to add and um, make a little loop in it so to close the yarn and to add a new color you want to go ahead and grab your new color and make a little loop in it like this and then you want to finish your stitch like you're going to finish this the round go ahead and go into the top of the first chain two grab your new color pull it through and then pull it through the loop and that starts your new yarn so kind of pull the back yarn tight a little bit and then start crocheting with the new color so from here chain two go ahead and chain two in the first stitch and that starts your new round from back here I usually leave these just hang for a little bit until I kind of get around and then you can snip off the old color that you are using so just keep going And I'm going to be doing three rows of my new color. There we go. That's how you change colors right there. So this is the end of the cozy. I'm getting it ready to go out. It's an order. So I just wanted to show you the finished project. Um, I ended up doing just a last row of um, the taupe and a half double crochet at the end so it's basically 14 rows after you do your first four it's 14 rows and then 15 makes the half double crochet so just wanted to show you the, the finished project getting ready to ship it out thanks so much for joining me Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.